Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and we finally have a Jeep Wrangler on the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be installing a set of canvas back cargo liners in the back of my neighbor's Jeep JL. So this is their four-door Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Uh, obviously, it's a red and black color combination. Um, but we were talking to them the other day about the canvas back liners we have in the back of our car. They too have kids who are active in football, baseball, soccer, and they were looking to add another layer of protection to the back of the Jeep because obviously this is the family vehicle in their household. So enter another set of canvas back cargo liners. They ended up opting for the black with some red stitching, which obviously accents the truck very nicely. So I say this is a combination of the Palisade and the Grand Cherokee L installation because um, two things, one, the portion of the canvas back liner that goes up against the rear seats is going to velcro right to the carpet on the back of the rear seats so similar to the palisade this just sticks right to the factory carpet however in typical jeep or mopar or fca fashion the carpet for the bottom portion of the canvas back cargo liner has to use self-adhesive velcro so we're going to pull off the uh, soft side of the velcro and that's going to stick on here and then we're gonna basically fold the cargo liner back over, stick it on there nice and smooth. I think what I'm gonna do is start with the bottom portion here, so this big panel. So on, the, on this Jeep, you got this little panel right here. So we're gonna start with this guy because that'll basically locate the edge. And as long as we locate this opening around the pull tab for that little access compartment, then we should be in good shape. Then we're gonna go ahead and do this next side here. This also uses that adhesive uh, backed Velcro to install. You can see it's cut up around the plastic trim. So it's gonna adhere to the plastic trim here, but up here, it's gonna follow the plastic trim, cover all the carpet up until you get to the seat fold. On this side, a little bit more simple. Let me get out of the light here. A little bit more simple in that it's just a straight piece of um, the canvas that's cut, but it too uses that self-adhesive. And then when we get to the rears of the truck, let's walk over there real quick. Or the, I guess the upper half of the canvas back liner, that's where the Velcro itself sticks right to the seat. So we're gonna take this, it's all gonna Velcro right up here on the top of the seat edge. So we're gonna start with the rear here, and we're gonna start with this main rectangle panel, I guess, because once we line up everything here, everything should fall into place. All right, so like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is start with the large rectangle panel in the middle. So we already have the canvas back pulled over the little pull tab there. That way we know where to center and align it. And side to side, all you wanna do is just pull this guy so it's you know it's centered on the actual panel itself. So when you pick it up, you're picking it up with just the canvas back and it's not overlapping more on one side versus the other. Um, and then as far as installation, super simple. So you have a self-adhesive Velcro here, which we're gonna pull off this side and then we have a small piece here that's almost at that second little d-ring there and then a the single piece here similar where it's almost at that second d-ring so we're going to pull this guy off and we'll adhere it right to the uh, factory carpet do the same thing with this guy then we'll be ready to go to install this once we land this guy everything else should fall into place pretty nicely so next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install this guy right about there. And in my experience, usually these are maybe a centimeter or two bigger than they need to be. So we'll get some scissors just to make sure we cut everything to size. Um, but once we get this guy on there, we could go ahead and land this guy in place, pull up the Velcro here, install him right on the edge there, do the same thing on there. We can install this, then we'll go do that tab, we'll go do this tab, and then we'll go and finish up with doing the back of the seats. Okay, so the Velcro is installed. So you can see it attaches nicely to the factory carpet. And I, what I find to do that works the best to adhere this guy is go through the middle, push down on the middle, and then go back through and push on the sides and keep doing that and try to put some pretty considerable amount of pressure on there just to make sure it adheres. And like I said, in my experience, you always have to clip off just a little bit on the end here. So I went ahead and did that. So everything fits right to the edge. I went ahead and installed these guys as well. So I got one there and got one right about here. So that will attach to these little pieces here, the little mail pieces. We got the little scratchy mail pieces on the edge there. So now what we could do is fold this back over, line it up with this edge here around the tab, Velcro it here, pull it taut, Velcro these guys, and then it's kind of smooth sailing. So then we're gonna work on this part here and then we'll come back over here and work on this part and then we'll finish up with the backs of the seats. So let's do it.
Okay, so the next part we're gonna work on is putting this this little side edge piece in. So I have it folded up right now, but ultimately what it's gonna do is it's gonna cover just like that, more or less. Um, couple things here, couple watch outs. One, you wanna make sure that this panel is starting just below the plastic panel on the back of the seats. So one, before we start to velcro everything down, we're gonna make sure it's lined up there and then you know smooth it as we go back. Second thing is two, three of the Velcro pieces, so the bottom piece plus the two outboard pieces are actually gonna attach to the plastic, which is nice because that's a little bit easier surface to get these things to adhere to. Um, but one thing we need to do just to prep the surface is we're gonna wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol. Then the last piece, so this inboard side of the panel is gonna be right about here. So that's gonna attach to carpet. Um, so let's go ahead and wipe this little ledge here all the way up to the front and then this little exposed piece here down with isopropyl alcohol I'll probably do the same thing on the other side and then we'll go ahead and install this I'll show you where those velcro pieces go and then we'll pull that one install that work on that one then go to do the easy stuff all right now that we have that little plastic ledge and then the plastic exposed piece here all cleaned up with isopropyl or isopropyl alcohol we now got to adhere the two so these three pieces to the plastic and the way you figure out where those go is just kind of drop the piece into place. Now you know that one piece is going to go here, one piece here. We can go ahead and install those and then that last piece is going to go basically right on this edge and before we install it we're going to make sure that that front piece is pushed forward right up to the ledge there so everything's nice and taut. And then the last thing we got to do is make sure that this piece is adhered to the carpet. But I want to do that after I do the plastic panels because I want to get this as far to the plastic panel side as possible. That way it's not gonna interfere when you need to open this guy. All right, so we have our Velcro installed here on the bottom. We got the two pieces up on the plastic little ledge there and then the last piece that goes on the carpet. Now all we need to do is before we adhere this down, like I said, we wanna make sure it's lined up up against the front of the truck, that panel. And once we do that, we can land everything. Then the last thing we need to do is move this out of the way, clean off some of that dust, and then we will focus on that section. Same thing. We're going to put Velcro right on that edge there. We're probably going to put some Velcro on the carpet since we don't have a plastic ledge, and then basically repeat the same thing we did over here, but on that piece there. All right, before we go ahead and Velcro these bad boys to the backs of the seats, we have one last adhesive back Velcro piece to add, and that is this long piece right in the middle. So we have the seat backs pulled down um, just enough so we could see where that guy lands. So ultimately what I'm gonna do is pull that piece off, I'm gonna flip it up, see where that Velcro needs to go, and that's where this whole bottom piece is gonna Velcro to that. So we're gonna wanna make sure that once we Velcro it, or once we get that little adhesive back piece installed, we pull everything nice and taut. And then from there, we could go ahead and do the seats themselves, which the seats themselves just Velcro right to the factory carpet. So those are really simple. So let's get that Velcro piece pulled off there, figure out where it lands, install it, and then get everything moving forward here. All right, so we have that little piece of Velcro installed. Again, it's cut just a little bit too big, but all I did is took it and wrapped it around the edges. But it's about a half an inch below this little crease here. Um, so as long as you get it roughly in place, as long, it, you just need a little bit of the Velcro to grab it, it'll be fine. Um, but I, again, I went maybe half inch to a quarter inch below that little crease and that's where I installed it. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is carefully flip this piece up and pull everything nice and taut. So I might do a panel at a time just to make sure everything is pulled nice and flat. Might need to adjust it a little bit, but once we do that, then we can go and do the seat backs and then we're good to go. All right, so you can see once you get that Velcro piece installed, it pulls, it does pull everything nice and flat. And like I said, over time, little areas like this that have a weird contour are ultimately gonna take shape. Once these things get heated up a few times or the sun bakes on them a little bit, they are gonna take the shape much better. Um, again, these were in the box maybe an hour and a half ago. So, you know, obviously they're gonna have some creases. All right, so the last piece is pretty simple. So we're gonna take the Velcro that's already sewn and installed into the canvas back, and it's just gonna stick right to the back of the carpet. 
So you could use those openings, which are gonna give you the uh, openings for the car seat tether points uh, as your guide. But ultimately what you wanna do is pull everything taut to the top and then line up that top piece of Velcro with the top of the seat. It's, so let's get the camera put down and I'll show you how I pull everything to where it needs to go. All right, well there you have it. The canvas back is installed in the Jeep JL. So again, the first Wrangler on the channel, and obviously the first thing we're doing is installing the canvas back liner on it. Hopefully one day we get to install a lift. I know they want to go with a two or three inch lift on this bad boy. They want to get some bigger wheels and tires, but back to the canvas back, because that's what this video is about. Um, so again, they went with the all black with the red accent stitching. Looks super nice with the red Jeep itself. But as far as installation, everything from the middle of the canvas back to the tailgate side of the canvas back is all using that self-adhesive Velcro. Then when you get beyond the middle portion to the back of the seats, that's where the Velcro itself will stick to the back of the seats. So these are split and they're cut in every which way to make sure that you maintain usability of all the extra panels and everything on the Jeep itself and your car seats will be able to fold up, pull down, do whatever you need to do with them. Um, Love these things because this is the added protection that these trucks, these cars, everything, these SUVs need to come with from the factory, but they don't. So companies like Canvasback are making it possible to protect the interior of our cars. So with that said, that is how you install the Canvasback liner on the Jeep JL. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Can't wait to do more work on this Jeep JL.